BCU and Catholic University of America white team. And it's going to be a barn burner here starting off game one. Catholic white on the blue side, VCU on the orange side. Cool J for VCU, VCU being the early aggressor here. Now Bay for, uh, pardon me, Bear for Catholic going the other way. Will strike first for Catholic. Bear on the board and Catholic white striking first. Yeah, you gotta love the irony of Bear scoring on a Ram logo first. It's just beautiful stuff going on in the mountains here in this matchup. Catholic White coming out with that early goal though, 1-0. So again, Catholic Red struggled a little bit in their opening matchup. We don't really know too much of what Catholic White looks like as of yet, but they're getting the job done here early on. So far, so good. Again, if you're a fan of CUA Esports, so far you're happy with the performance of Catholic White striking here early against vcu and bear's not gonna stop at one goal looking for more it's bear and kale back-to-back -back shots for catholic can't get it to go kale off the backboard looking for bear we dr fuzzy playing it off to the side back on defense now vcu trying to pull this one even i am classy playing it towards the center part of the field good bounce and in Catholic was frozen at the goal line, and VCU evens this one up at the 359 mark. Yeah, I am classy with a classy name. I don't know if I want to call this goal too classy, though. It looked like a little bit of miscommunication on the side of Catholic White. All the different players right there, and the opportunity to save was right there as well. Unfortunately, it looked like a little bit of miscommunication might have come through as that goal slides in for VCU. Now it's Kale for Catholic looking for Bear. Good defense from VCU coming out to keep that one from dropping down in front of the goal. Bear for Catholic plays it back in. Far corner. I am classy looking to go the other way. The long clearance. Cool J towards midfield. Bear now for Catholic. Looking to get their lead back. Play it back into the corner. Bumps his teammate just a little bit, but they're both able to recover. Now the ball into the corner. Back along the side wall. I am classy. Plays it back in. VCU looking for their first lead here in game one. Shot from Cool J, Bear with the save. VCU trying to apply the pressure. Cool J in the corner. Looks for the centering feed. Good chance there. Two players missing it. The ball will finally get out of Catholic's defensive end. VCU, all the aggression so far. Now it's Dr. Fuzzy trying to find the ball on frame. Craft shot will be saved by Bear. A lot of animals and vegetable names here in this game joey <laughs> absolutely john not too many goals though unfortunately as of yet we've seen a lot of back and forth a few shots coming through for both sides but sitting at a 1-1 scoreline with two to go cool j for vcu gets the clearance looking to go the other way picks up full boost an opportunity here the shot just can't get enough the demolition may have had something to do with that play being disrupted now catholic looking to go their way but the ball's intercepted by Cool J and VCU has their first lead here in game number one with 153 remaining. Yeah, a really nice block there initially coming out from VCU, holding that ball in the midfield area. Then it does end up rolling right to another teammate, and VCU is able to put the power behind it and put it into the back of the net. 2-1, 153 to go. VCU now in the lead. Dr. Fuzzy plays it into the corner. Bear off the back wall. And the drop shot from Kale, and in that lead did not last long for VCU. Catholic responds, and it's a beauty of a play. Absolutely. Tease him up. Kale goes up and finds that one, dunking it into the bottom right corner. Nice little goal celebration coming out as well as the scoreline is tied up. 2-2, 142 left to go here in game one. Under two minutes to go. And Cool J... Didn't like being tied for too long. Back-to-back -back quick goals for both of these teams. And VCU back in the lead with a beauty of a shot. 
from Cool J. Absolutely. Kale getting out there initially ends up blocking the first opportunity instead of really clearing it out fully, though. He just ends up laying it up for the VCU player. Kale tries to boost his way back into goal, unfortunately, just slightly too late as VCU does find that third. Cool J gets the goal, then gets back on defense and gets the save. Back and forth action between both of these teams. What started out a little slow here, the intensity's picked up a little bit between both of these teams. Very quick goals being traded. Dr. Fuzzy clears the ball the defensive end. That drops, it's on target. And it will, a beauty of a clearance that turns into a goal for Catholic White. And we're all even with 66 seconds to go in game number one. Back and forth, back and forth, John. The goals just keep raining in. It took a little while to get them started, but the engines are full ignition at this point. 3-3-106 remaining, and it just keeps going back and forth. It's going to come down to the wire potentially here. So they need to time out these goals. They need to sit back and possibly look for the counterattack here at the end and finish it off cleanly. Under a minute to go, all even at three apiece. The lead has been traded several times here in game one. Both of these teams amping up the pressure. VCU trying to clear their defensive end. Catholic looking to get their lead back. Shot goes too high for Catholic. 30 seconds to go. VCU back on defense looking for the clearance. A dangerous play. Catholic could not get the shot on frame. 20 seconds to go. It drops in from Bear. VCU just unable to keep up with the pressure from Catholic, and it results in a goal and the lead with 19 seconds to go. Bear swipes that one right off the top of I Am Classy's car, able to bounce it off the ceiling to find a crazy angle on that goal. In the end, drops it in for the 4-3 lead here in game one. 17 seconds left, though, for VCU to try to find an answer. Lighting draft back on defense, making sure Catholic can't get another goal to really seal this one away. Triple zeros on the clock. The ball just has to touch the ground to end the game. They're able to keep it up in the air. They still have a chance for VCU until Catholic is able to hit the ground with the ball and Catholic will hold on. Catholic White securing win number one for CUA here in week one joey this this match was a little bit of everything started out a little slow slow both teams kind of feeling each other out and then right around that three minute mark it was like let's just unleash the fury on everything and just score goals like crazy let's keep it a one goal game let's go back and forth quick goal here quick response here just back and forth back and forth back and forth that's what you want to see in these kinds of games this amazing action going back and forth i mean you can't predict who's going to take this series off of game one. There was no one team that was that dominant to say, yes, they're going to go on to win this series. Game one was anyone's game, and game two, I have a feeling, is going to be the same way. Absolutely. Game one was so back and forth all the time throughout that matchup. It felt like it took a little while to get it going, but once it went and once it started going, goals just continued to rain in time and time again. Some really good plays here and there, some missed plays as well from both sides, though. In the end, we did have a victory, and we'll see if they can keep that going here in game two. All right, everyone watching in chat, get ready. Hope you have your drink on standby. I got my water right here. We are ready to go. I am fired up for game two, Joey. It is going to be another back and forth between both of these teams. I can just feel it in my bones. It is going to be absolutely fantastic if game one told us anything. That's definitely what we're going to expect here in game two, which is just a few moments away here. Um, but we, after the game, you also want to make sure you stay tuned for the last matchup of the evening, which is going to be uh, Shandoah University's B team going up against George Washington University as well. It's going to be following this match here once the best of five is completed here. Game two, just a few moments away. As we will go ahead and get faded into that game. And game number two in this best of five between CUA White and VCU now underway. VCU looking to even this series up. 
I am Classy, unable to clear the ball out, and it is CUA White striking first. Someone called the doctor, and Fuzzy responded. It's 1-0, CUA White. Absolutely. Bear came through to get that first goal in game one for Catholic. Now it's Fuzzy. Not Fuzzy Bear, but Bear Fuzzy in this particular order. Catholic now already on the board just 15 seconds into this one. We'll see if it ends up being a back and forth like it was in game one, or if Catholic can hold on to this lead for a little while. CUA White striking first. ECU playing from behind once again. That hasn't stopped them yet. CUA now pressuring once again. Off the backboard, the drop shot trying to come in. Unable to get the angle on that drop. Now Kale in the corner, pressured out by VCU. Bear back on defense in the corner, trying to clear the ball out. VCU with the interception, can't get that play to culminate into anything. Kale with the interception going the other way. Ball bounces right in front of the goal. And a lucky bounce for a bear will find the back of the net and double Catholic's advantage. Lucky or not, bear takes advantage of this when it comes through a little bit of a misdirection there from the opposing team. And it looks like a VCU player actually got his car on that one as well as it does trickle in credited to Catholic White. 2-0, 352 to go. Kale off that face off, looking to add goal number three, and it's off the elbow of the goal frame. CUA just has found the pressure, has found the ability to just penetrate VCU's defense and all the pressure going downhill towards VCU. Kale in the corner for CUA White. Gets the clearance, plays it into the corner. Dr. Fuzzy is there looking to drop it down off the backboard. Has the player and a beautiful play. Finds Bear back post and in. It's CUA White 3, VCU 0. Dr. Fuzzy just blessing his teammate Bear here with a beautiful pass. Catholic now in the lead 3-0, 314 remaining. So far really clicking in all cylinders here in Game 2, John. We saw the ping pong back and forth on the scoreboard there in Game 1. But everything in Game 2 has been all on the side of Catholic. He still has three minutes to try to get themselves back here into game two. Still plenty of time, but they're going to have to be able to keep the ball out. And unfortunately, Dr. Fuzzy has another thing in mind, making it 4-0 now for CUA White. Dr. Fuzzy writing up a prescription on this one for another Catholic University goal. Catholic White now up 4-0, three minutes to go in this one, John. But again, it feels like all Catholic at this point. VCU needs to change something up. They're right there with them in game one, but not really able to hold up here in game two. I think you need to fall into a more defensive format. How can we allow Catholic? Again, they're going to be taking the shots. They've been doing it all game too long. Let's sit back, watch them make mistakes, and then turn it the opposing way. CU trying to find a way to penetrate Catholic's defense here, trying to find at least one goal to try to crack that scoreboard and get some momentum on their side. Dr. Fuzzy just misplays the ball there. VCU with an opportunity, but it's Bear. Get the touch on the ball to clear it out towards midfield. Now Kale with the full clearance into the corner. Looking to go on the attack, VCU back on defense. Now the ball played into the corner. VCU with under two minutes to go, down by four. Down 1-0 in the series as well. Now Bear looking to play it long, gets intercepted by IM Classy, but Dr. Fuzzy's back on defense. Finds Bear now into the corner. It's CUA on the attack once again. The ball through the middle of the field. Miss plays, but Bear able to get the shot. And the gliding draft just slides across for the save. ECU trying to find any kind of momentum. Now it's I am classy off the sidewall. Can't connect. The gliding draft keeps the ball in their offensive end until CUA finally gets the clearance. Now it's Bear looking to go the other way. 
but Cool J back in time, playing it cool on defense. 60 seconds to go here in game two of this best of five between CUA White and VCU. Yeah, VCU's really been able to clamp down on defense here for the last couple minutes. They still have a little bit of time to play, but again, they need to play more aggressive as well. Unfortunately, when you're looking for the counterattack, it really depends on Catholic White making aggressive plays. Catholic knows the position they're in. They're up by four goals. They don't have to force anything. They're sitting back, finding shots where they can, like they find one right here for that fifth goal with Bear on the end of it. But in the end, they don't really have to force anything being up by as much as they are. Catholic White looking prime for a Game 2 victory. 30 seconds to go, and VCU might just be planning on a way to try to pull off the reverse sweep here. So it looks like they will be going down 2-0 in the series. And Joey, this will be the fourth match in a row of a 2-0 pardon me, series lead for a team. And so far, a 2-0 series lead has seemed to be impossible to come back from if you're on that zero end. Yeah, absolutely. 2-0 has kind of been the kiss of death, at least for tonight's stream. We'll see what happens in this one. Maybe they're able to pull it out in game three, but at least in game two, it does look like that victory will be going to Catholic White as they do take the 2-0 lead in here, pending this ball bouncing. But again, you can't score four goals that quickly. So we are going to go ahead and give that victory over to Catholic White here in game two. We'll see, though, with game three. Again, VCU made some nice adjustments there in game two, John. I feel like they played better defensively for... Uh, we'll give them the final two minutes, at least, maybe the second half of the game. If they can carry that momentum into game three, but find a way to also turn some scoring in their favor, they could end up with a victory here and look at a reverse sweet option. Uh, you know, it, it was it was very interesting to watch uh, VCU's change of, of game style here in game two. Uh, they were very aggressive on the get-go, uh, kind of like what we saw there in game one. And, and, and for whatever reason, it just wasn't working this go around. CUA had an answer for everything VCU tried, and then they were just better on the counter. They were able to get back in time to, to convert that defense into great offensive opportunities. And then VCU had to go back and just sit back and kind of play defense. But like you said, in the middle of that game, Joey, when you sit back on defense, you're looking for that counterattack, but that counterattack means CUA had to make a mistake. And that's we just didn't see too many mistakes from Catholic. Well, not only a mistake, but they had to still play aggressively. When Catholic was up 4-0, they're still taking some shots, but they've really started to turtle back in a little bit. They're going to allow the opponent to make mistakes because there's no reason to force it and allow for a counterattacking play to come out. If you're going to switch to that style, you got to do it a little bit earlier on, and hopefully VCU ends up making a little bit of those adjustments earlier on here in Game 3, if it's needed at all. All right, so Game number 3, it is time. Will VCU be able to respond to CUA White's pressure their back is against the wall as CUA is looking to close out this series in three straight games. Five minutes stands between VCU and Catholic White here. As Catholic White's looking to close out that series, VCU looking to try to make something happen, trying to be the first team to at least take one game back after dropping down 0-2 in a series. Absolutely. Curious to hear what chat thinks of this one as well. So many of the games going 2-0 today have gone in favor for the third game of the team in the 2-0 spot. Will VCU be able to turn it around here in game three and find that game to extend the series to four games? And Bear, the opening shot off the crossbar. Secondary opportunity from Dr. Fuzzy won't go. I am classy getting the save. The follow-up shot by Kale will follow it up. Makes it 1-0 for Catholic White. Again, CUA striking early here in game number three. Kale coming out and making a statement within the first minute of this game saying, hey, VCU, you can go ahead and try to win game three here and force a game four, but we're not going to make it easy for you. Kale comes out, gets that early goal. Now CUA in the lead here. Catholic White, 1-0, 4.15 to go. Cool J with the shot near post, won't go. Wide and draft back on defense. VCU needing to find an answer to CUA's offensive prowess, Just all the pressure going towards VCU. Now CUA back on defense and Cool J will even this one up at 3.50 to go here in game three and VCU may have just found some life. 
Yeah, big play there from Cool J off the top bar right over the crossbar and then dunks it in for that goal opportunity. 1-1 just under a minute into this one, but VCU showing they're going to look to score early here. They struggle with that in game two. Now coming out and already finding a goal a little bit earlier on here in game three is a good sign for VCU fans. Dr. Fuzzy back on defense. Now Kale on the side wall. Has Bear down below, looks for the drop. Bear can't connect. You can see that play developing from a mile away. Bear just unable to make connection onto that ball. Now into the corner for VCU on the attack, looking for a lead. Kale will clear it out, now goes on the attack. Into the corner, the ball will roll around. Lighting Giraffe can't get the, the clearance on it, but fellow teammate will. Catholic White now has to retreat back on defense. Through midfield, ball bouncing back and forth. Kale back to the side wall. I'm Classy gets bumped and thrown out of position. A chance there for CUA, but they can't convert. Ball now played deep into VCU's defensive end. CUA looking to go on the attack once again. The shot and the big save. VCU keeping this one all even at one apiece. Just under the halfway mark here in game three. Gliding draft the shot. Turned aside. Now a chance for CUA. Kale will play the ball back into the defensive end. And the follow-up shot, VCU can't get it to go. Back and forth between both of these teams. It is all even at one until the Glidin Giraffe glides on in. VCU with their first lead here in game three. 150 to go. Yeah, I don't know if it's Gliden or Gilden, but either way, the draft getting the job done, creating the neck in for that goal opportunity. 2-1 here, 150 remaining. VCU looking a lot better here in Game 3 than we saw them in Game 2. Game 2 very much in favor of Catholic White. VCU came alive again in that final minute or two minutes, but now here in Game 3, looking a lot more potent early on. Bear does pull one back here, though, for Catholic White, tying that scoreboard 2-2, but VCU really running side-by-side -side with them, 142 to go. Yeah, VCU making a lot of great changes here in Game 3. Keeping this one even. Classy on the goal line, making sure that ball does not trickle in. Dr. Fuzzy, the shot from midfield, looking back post. It's Cool J with the, with the save. Cool J looking to make something happen on the offensive end. VCU looking to get that lead back. Dr. Fuzzy shot near post, won't go. Bear from the side wall, it's gonna be too high, he'll drop down, has a teammate there, can't get on top of it. Bear will play it back to the side wall, going aerial now, the shot back on frame. Good defense from VCU. Under 60 seconds to go. All even at two apiece. Catholic up 2-0 in the series, and Bear the shot and the big save. VCU keeping themselves alive here in game three. Now Cool J going the other way, the drop in for VCU. It's Cool J 11 giving VCU their third goal of the match and the lead with 37 seconds to go. Backs against the wall. VCU finding the goal they needed here. They have to fend off the side of Catholic White or put another goal away here in the final 37 seconds. But they do find themselves up by one here in game three with the potential, of course, in that game four. Thirty seconds to go. CUA White down by one. Kale gets bumped, but it's bare to play it into their offensive end, looking for that last second goal. Plays it up and over, it's dropping down, can't get it to go, back post. Kale is there, drops it in, and we are all tied at three. 12 seconds to go, CUA, never say never.
Never say never, John. Absolutely. VCU able to find that goal they needed, and then Catholic White with a quick answer here. VCU's defense just giving it up in the end as Catholic White forces it through. 3-3, 12 seconds left. Still time to score in regulation, but overtime also possibly on the cards. Under 10 seconds left. Where there'll be a last second miracle here. No, shot over the crossbar. Going the other way. It's going to trickle on the ground. We're going to overtime. If that stayed in the air, it would have counted, but it was on the ground. Next goal will win. Joey, that, that is a heartbreak to see the goal that wide open in the closing seconds, and it stays on the ground. Could have sealed the deal, but instead we're going to overtime. It's all about timing in Rocket League. Timing when you get your boost, timing when you take your shot, and unfortunately timing the overtime score, but I am classy flying in no one saw this one coming 4-3 vcu with the victory here in game three john forcing that game four vcu has done something that no other team in the history of the mid-atlantic esports conference granted it's only one week old has been able to do so far that is go down 0-2 in a series and not be swept they pull one back joey they're going for the reverse sweep now uh their back is going to be against the wall there the entire way uh, only one mistake away from having this series be closed out with CUA White taking the series win here. But Joey, game four, uh, th what a turnaround for VCU. Let's just talk about that real quick. Game two, they just couldn't really adapt to what CUA White was throwing at them. Uh, CUA White was the aggressor. They were changing up their game plan left and right, and, and VCU just didn't have an answer. They eventually had to sit back on defense, and they couldn't be aggressive by sitting back. They changed their game plan here in game three. They were able to be the aggressor. They were able to get their rotations in. The communication seemed better, and it resulted in an overtime win and forcing game four. Absolutely. In game two, we saw Catholic come out and just pour on an onslaught of goals. They got up to a 4-0 lead at one point. At that point, we saw VCU try to play a little bit more counterattacking, but then Catholic said, we don't even have to try to score. We can just sit back and allow you to make the moves. They did so, and in the end, Catholic with a very clean game two victory. Into game three, it was back and forth. Catholic never found that big lead. I think they were up by one, maybe two at most in that game. So back and forth between VCU, VCU was able to play aggressive the whole time. They were able to swap in counterattacking opportunities. And in the end, getting the job done here in overtime, I am classy, finding the goal. All right, so VCU able to find that last second magic there in game three. Will they be able to take that magic into game four and possibly even this series to go to game five? We will find out right now. It's game four between CUA White and VCU. 15 seconds in, all even so far, but it's Kale going the other way for Catholic White. CUA trying to put the pressure on early like they have in all the other games so far in this series. Yeah, it seems like Catholic White has scored the first goal in almost every game. VCU might have got one of them, if I remember correctly. Uh, but in the end, Catholic White usually finding more goal opportunities over throughout the course of the game in this series. Uh, so far, this one a little bit back and forth here as we go. Tower, the final minute being counted down already. A lot of midfield play, a lot of flying going on, but no real shot opportunities coming off. Ball played into the corner. It's Kale on the attack. The centering chance from Bear. They made that look easy. It's 1-0 for CUA White, 4.05 remaining. And that's one way to get that shot on the board. Kale with three hits on that ball. Bear gets the finish, but in the end, Kale knocking it against that wall, finding the boost, and then finding Bear in the end. 1-0, CUA takes the lead just under that first minute. 4.05 left to go in game four. Bear going aerial towards midfield, finds the teammate, but... It is the Giraffe once again back on defense, keeping that one out. Now Bear for CUA White, trying to clear the defensive end. It's Kale gets the clearance into the corner. Now going on the attack, picks up full boost. Beautiful center and opportunity, but it's cleared out. Dr. Fuzzy is there, great positioning, but can't get an opportunity there. Kale on the rotation will play it back in. Bear off the backboard. It's dropping down towards midfield and the clearance. Drops all the way back to CUA White's defensive end. Dr. Fuzzy is there through midfield. All out of boost. Dr. Fuzzy will have to try to find some more, but not until Kale puts a two spot up on the scoreboard. It's 2-0, and it's CUA White in the lead.
Yeah, Kale, some really nice bopping back and forth play there. Knocks it off the wall initially, then knocks it off of the enemy, goes over top, and eventually finds the goal. 3.15 remaining. 2-0 the score line. 2-1 the series in favor of CUA White. In this best of five. Now Kale through midfield. Can't hold on to the ball. Will drop down. Now it's going to be CUA. Back on defense. Gets the clearance over the defender. That's going to drop in a beautiful drop shot on the clearance from Dr. Fuzzy. Makes it 3-0 for CUA White. Dr. Fuzzy ordering up the shot, going for a nice fly shot. And look at that curve right toward the end, right toward the center of goal. Unfortunately, no goalie in there for VCU. CUA 3-0 here for the white team. 249 left to go in game four. Approaching that halfway mark. VCU with their backs against the wall. CUA White looking to close the series out. Now halfway through game number four. Kale looks to drop it down, finds Bear, and it's 4-0. CUA White wants this one not to be close. They don't want to go to overtime. They just wanted to put it away early. 4-0 for Catholic University of America White. Yeah, VCU stopping that first opportunity, looking like they were going to get the clearance off, but Kale had other ideas in mind, brings it around, and then eventually drops it right in front of teammate Bear as Bear puts that one away for the fourth goal. Bear trying to get the ball through midfield. Now it's Dr. Fuzzy looking for the clearance. Kale with some assistance will find Bear in the corner, going back post. Dr. Fuzzy couldn't get there in time. A beautiful play that would have been. Bear now back on defense. We'll put that into the corner. Finds Kale along the side wall, and it's Bear coming down into the corner. Bear along the side wall, plays it back in. VCU trying to get the ball out of their defensive end. The pressure just starting to mount with only 135 to go. Down by four. VCU just struggling to get shots on goal as desperation starting to set in. Dr. Fuzzy with the clearance back through midfield. I am classy, will keep it in, plays it into the corner. Bear the follow up near post, can't get it to go. Dr. Fuzzy was there surrounded by VCU players. Back through midfield. Bear gets enough on it to keep it there. Under a minute to go. Down by four, VCU time going against them. Dr. Fuzzy able to keep the ball in. I'm classy with the clearance, picks the ball up along the side wall. Picks up full boost, that might drop down. No, Barrel played into the corner, 30 seconds to go. This deficit may just be too much for VCU to come back from. It's really struggling to get anything going here in game four. It has been all CUA. Under 10 seconds to go. ECU unfortunately will not be able to make that reverse sweep happen as Bear with trip zeros on the clock will find goal number five just to pad the stats just a little bit there towards the end makes it 5-0 for CUA White and VCU will fall in the series three games to one.